This lets us take a series of different file types, uh, combine them into a single PDF file, and save us from doing things like sending an email to our clients and colleagues that are full of a bunch of attachments. So let me just take a quick look at uh, what this might look like if I were to take this folder of documents and just send them off to my colleague in this case. So I would address my email, make my subject matter, and subject line rather, and then just attach a bunch of these files into the document. So these would show up in either alphabetical order or the order I drag them in, not a specific order that I can pick. And then if I scroll through the body of the email, some have previews, some don't, some show up as file icons. This just really isn't an organized way to send a whole series of documents to somebody on my team. So what we're going to do is take a look at combined files where, again, Acrobat will take some of these files, convert them to the PDF format, give me the ability to arrange the resulting binder, which is what the combined file will be called, and be able to send off one PDF file that has all of the content in there. Um, so while I'm demonstrating this, I won't be able to see all the questions that come in the chat pod, but there are some people from Adobe who are standing by to respond to questions and comments, so uh, feel free to join in the discussion. Um, so to begin, I am inside of Acrobat here on the desktop, and what I'm going to do is come over to the Tools panel, and I'm going to come down here and click on this icon here, Combine Files. That's going to bring up this dialog box here, or this screen rather, where I can drag in uh, different file types and have those files automatically converted. So to begin, back in the files on my desktop, I'm going to come in here and start with our draft of the brand guidelines. I basically want to collect all of the brand assets to share with my colleague. So I'll grab the first PDF file here, drag and drop it. That's going to convert this to PDF already. So since it was already PDF, that was immediate, just basically brought in the pages. So I can see that here. I can click on the magnification here to zoom up and just take a look at this in more detail or close that. Next, let's come down to the content document. If I preview this, this is really is just the uh, content manuscript for all of the main branding content that we're going to be using to talk about the company. So I'll just drag and drop this right into the Acrobat screen here. That's going to launch Word, which you may have seen show up real quick there. And then using Word, Acrobat will then give us a fully formatted document supporting all of the format capabilities of any of the Office applications, including Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. So here I'll see these arrows side to side. If I click on this, I can see all the pages that were converted. I can also zoom up on these and use my arrow keys to go back and forth between the pages. So that looks great. I'll close that and click on the arrows to close that up as well. So now this single document is representing the fact that there are multiple pages in this particular uh, document that's being included. Next, let's come down to our translations. Again, if I preview this, these are just some of the translations for some of the core messaging for our branding. So let's drag and drop this Excel file right in. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to launch Excel, create our PDF file, and then put that right into our PDF as well. So I can see that here. Also preview that. And then finally, let's drag in an Illustrator file. So Illustrator files are PDF in are by nature. Uh, it is a vector drawing tool that uses PDF as its base language. So I can drag this in, and we'll see this show up here immediately. Um, and then the last thing I want to include is a series of photographs. So these are some of the core photography that we're going to use for some of the main um, brochure pieces. So I'm going to select the first one, hold the shift key, select all three, and I'll just drag these right in here as well. And maybe I'll put these right after the brand guideline. So they're going to come in here. Let's grab the logo. Let's change the order. I want this to show up first. So we'll start with the logo, um, some brand guidelines that we are in draft mode still some photography, some of our messaging, and some of our translations. So now I've added a lot of organization to all these files that I wanted to add to that uh, content. So with all of these in place, I'll come up here and click Combine. So Acrobat's going to go through, again, and look at all these documents, make sure the conversions are correct. And then what's going to happen when we're done is we're going to end up with this PDF file here. It's going to be named binder.pdf. And if I come over here to the Pages panel and click this open, I can scroll through here and see all of the content from the native files that I had dragged over from my operating system converted to PDF pages inside of my final document here. So I can drag through and see all of that content here. If I go over to bookmarks, I'll get a bookmark listing of all of the different assets that were uh, dragged into this uh, PDF file as well. So Acrobat is keeping track of all of the content that's being brought in as well. So let's close that page. Um, so I do see one question that's coming over. Um, this is from Jesus, and he is asking, 
Um, what if I want to send the original Word document or any of the other original files? Um, and that is a great question. What's happening here is we are actually getting a PDF conversion of all of that content. So we can take all of those native files, convert them to PDF, collect them into a single PDF file, and then have one basic repository of all of that content. However, uh, Jesus is asking how do we import or include the original documents? And the answer to that is over here on the left-hand side, we can go to the Attachments panel. So the Attachments panel allows us to add any file into a PDF file. So the PDF file is a wrapper that basically has the contents of a native file wrapped inside of it. So let's take a look at doing that. So with the attachments panel open, I'll come over here and I'll click on the um, paper clip with a plus sign here. This will be our add dialog box. So we're gonna go over to our files and let's say I wanna grab the Word document. I'm gonna hold the command key or control in Windows to select non-sequential files. So I'm gonna grab the Word and Excel files and then I'll come down here and click open, and that's gonna add these into the list of files that are attached to this PDF. So not only do we have the files converted to PDF so we can look at them in the regular viewing experience in PDF, but we also have the original files attached in here as well. And so what make, make this a little bit more interesting is let's open up our design files, and I can even come in here and include Illustrator, InDesign, and let's say a bunch of click open. <laughs> I can't click and talk at the same time. And uh, maybe a series of icons in Illustrator format. So I can just simply click and drag and drop these in here as well. So now I've created a whole series of native documents wrapped into a PDF that has previews of all of this content wrapped into this entire PDF binder. So with all of these in place, the next thing I want to do is, since I do have attachments here, I want to control how the PDF file opens. I want to make sure that people who see this see that there are attachments inside of here. So I'm gonna come up to the file menu. I'm gonna come down to properties. Next, I'll come into initial view. And for the navigation panel, I wanna make sure that I check attachments pane, I'm sorry, attachments panel and page. So what this means is when this PDF file opens, it will open the attachments panel in addition to the main page in the center. For the layout, I prefer single page and I usually uh, set this to uh, fit page as well. So I'll choose all those properties. Next, I'll choose File Save. From this dialog box here, I'm gonna choose Creative Cloud because we're gonna look at this on mobile. I'm gonna come down and inside of my Creative Cloud files, let's go to Tour and Company. So I'll double click to open this up. And I'm gonna name this brandassets.pdf. And then I'll simply come in here and hit Save. So now Acrobat is combining all of these files adding all the attachments into this PDF file and saving it over to my Creative Cloud. So while this is happening, we can see the progress bar down here, I'm gonna bring up my mobile device and we're gonna take a look at the resulting file on our mobile device. So I'll bring this over here so you can see my phone showing up here. I can see in the background, we're still uh, scanning for viruses and checking the integrity of the PDF file. So as this is being saved, it's now saved successfully. So on my phone, I'm gonna come up here and go to Adobe Acrobat, so I'll tap on that icon here. From this list of recents, let's change this to Creative Cloud. Let's go to Tor and Company. I will now see the brand assets PDF that we just created, I'll tap on this. So this is gonna open up the PDF on my mobile device. And right away, I can see the very first screen. So I can use my finger, tap and swipe, and I can swipe through all the individual pages. I have all of the capabilities of the reader, which means I can uh, pinch and zoom. I can double tap to zoom out. I can swipe across all the pages. But down here in the, the bottom of the toolbar on my mobile device, notice I have this paperclip icon here. If I come down here and tap on the paperclip, this will show me all of the files that are attached into this PDF file on my mobile device. So here's where things get really interesting. I'm still in Acrobat, I'm in the attachments panel. I can tap on the Microsoft Word file, for example, get a preview of the Word document, and then in the upper right-hand corner, this little action icon up here, I can tap on this. I can say, open in. That's gonna go back to my uh, mobile OS. I can see copy to Word showing up over here. So I can tap on this icon, and Acrobat Mobile is going to extract the attached Word document send it over to Microsoft Word on my mobile device, 
and then I can then continue editing this over in a completely separate application. So now here I am inside of Microsoft Word on my mobile device with a fully editable document that gives me the ability to, again, get that source document and then be able to work with it on another platform. So I'm going to double tap here. Let's switch back over to Acrobat. Hit the left arrow key, left arrow one more time, go back to our main document, and then I can continue navigating in that main binder file. So again, this gives us the ability to uh, not inundate our clients and colleagues with a whole bunch of files attached to an email. Um, and this combined files gives us that uh, added capability of not only converting all the content to PDF so it can be quickly viewed and shared with our clients and colleagues, but also the ability to attach files into any PDF file really, and uh, supply those particular assets as well. And so that might be a really interesting way to uh, include assets inside of a PDF file for cases where you supply PDF files as downloads, maybe from a website or on a shared, or on a shared file server. Um, so with that, I hope you found this interesting and uh, I hope you'll join us again next time.